moon rising in venus welcome to another reading of yours this is for aquarius it is going to be a quick bonus spread all right so take what resonates leave the rest it is a general reading guys if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down in the description box below bottom of the deck we have the five of cups in reverse with the three of pentacles in reverse here there has been a partnership that hasn't worked out Someone definitely out here was, you know, you had a lot of expectations from someone that things would work out with them. You wanted to build with this person, okay? You wanted a very strong foundation. Somewhere, somehow, there was a lot of disappointment around the situation, okay? Because things didn't work out the way you wanted them to. Yeah, you've been crying with spilt milk for a very long time, but finally you gave up on the situation because it was very one-sided, okay? This is someone who you, you would keep hitting a wall, you know? No matter what you did, no matter how much you tried to collaborate with this person, there was just a lack of teamwork here. And one person is finally fed up and moving on is what I'm getting here, okay? Uh, tell me about... Um, Tell me about Aquarius's energy. What is Aquarius's energy towards this person or this connection? Give me Aquarius's energy towards this person or this situation. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see clearly Aquarius, you're shut down to this person. Because you want to get out of your head, right? You realize that the more you're giving to this person, the more you're stressing about it, okay? Because it's just not working out, right? You're taking disappointments over disappointments with this person here. You're putting in your all, but you, you th this person does not appreciate you. They don't, um, you know, give you what you deserve. Or they just don't appreciate the hard work, the investment, the love, everything that you put in. And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. Never mind. You realize that the only way you can get out of your head or stop stressing about this situation is by shutting off emotionally. And that's what you're doing. See, Ace of Cups in reverse here. This is unrequited love. This person didn't return back the love that you gave to this person here, okay? And you were in your head all this while about what really happened. But you're finally um, getting out of your head, okay? You're no longer wanting to stress with that worry, anxiety, okay? No longer panic, no longer wanting any panic mode. You're wanting to sleep better. What are these person's energies towards Aquarius? What are these person's energies towards Aquarius? The page of wands and the devil in reverse. Yeah. This person that you're dealing with, this person knows that they have been very, very toxic. Okay. They know they've been very, very toxic towards you. Okay. Now this, the, the devil card is, can be anything. Okay. What it, I mean, when it comes to toxicity, this is obsession. This is a third party situation, person, place, thing, a job, family, friends, alcohol, anything. Okay. They knew that there was some toxicity that they were bringing to this relationship here. Okay. They could, there was, there could be a heavy codependency that this person had on something or a certain thought pattern, emotions, you know, very sabotaging behavior this person had with you. Okay. But I think this person wants to communicate with you because they are freeing themselves, releasing themselves from any toxic mindset, person, place, thing that was coming between you and them okay they're getting into a more independent energy yeah after stressing the shit out of you now they realize that they should have tell me how does Aquarius view this person tell me how does this person how does Aquarius view this person Lovers in reverse with a hair of in reverse. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, right? You probably wanted commitment. You wanted marriage. You probably thought somewhere, somehow that this was your person, okay? You had a very spiritual connection. I think you were more committed to this person than this person was. I hope you heard that. I, I had a call. I, you know, you were more committed to this person, okay? But this person just seemed to be someone who was just non-committal. You guys were not on the same page, okay? You don't did share the same belief system because of which you had a fallout. This person refused to be on the same page with you and um yeah so what i'm saying is that um this person that's why you had a fallout with maybe you saw this person as someone you know who was probably in this connection only for the sexual pleasure or only because they were very addicted to you okay but this person was probably in this only you know uh they were not allowing their emotions to get you know, uh, to be a part of this. They were lacking that emotional involvement. You know, that's how you see them. They weren't um, in it for the long term or, you know, your needs, your wants, your desires were not being met here because they were non-committed or this was someone who was just not wanting anything traditional, okay? Tell me, how does this person view Aquarius? Ten of cups in 
reverse for the ace of wands here. I feel that this person sees you as, now I'm getting two scenarios here, take what resonates. I'm getting this person as someone, You. this person views you as someone who has ended a relationship with them or you're or they're not happy they view you as someone who's not happy either you are already in a commitment you're not you're in another relationship here okay and this person views you as someone who's not ha happy in that family situation anymore and you're wanting a brand new beginning here okay that's one scenario the second scenario i'm getting is that this person views you as someone who's emotionally getting drained with the family situation now it could be with them it could be with someone else right and you're wanting a clean slate now this could also be that this person sees you as someone you know who's no longer wanting to come together with them okay because you are choosing yourself rather than choosing a relationship with them okay and with ace of wands here you're wanting to start brand new completely new without them okay i'm getting two scenarios here tell me why is all this happening tell me why is all this happening i'm getting for some people this person could view someone very defensive you know you're blocking them out energetically, if not on social media. Tell me why is all this happening? Okay, still got two cards. All right, we'll see. Now, this is all happening is because with the helmet, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles here, someone definitely has a lot of love here. Okay. A lot of love here with the Queen of Cups. And someone's very emotional is what I'm getting. And there's one person here who's completely withdrawn. Very silent, okay? The hermit is someone, you know, who just wants to be left alone, okay? So there is a lot of love that you have, I feel, Aquarius, for someone here who's given you the silent treatment, who's very quiet, withdrawn, you know? Someone is trying to heal from a breakup here and they've completely ghosted you, okay? This is someone here who needs this time. They don't want to deal with the situation right now. And you have a lot of love for this person. But this person, I feel that this person is going to be someone who's going to come in and communicate with you. Because I do see communication coming in with the Page of Pentacles. To me, it feels like... Yeah. This person is in love. You're in love with this person. Okay, for sure. And this person is very withdrawn here. However, you would like to communicate with them, okay? Or they would like to communicate with you. Take it how it resonates, okay, is what I'm getting here. The page of pentacles is very bland communication, you know, it's like, hey, how are you? Stuff like that. But not really very emotional communication, not logical, not very passionate, okay? It's just like that boring communication, okay? Where you're not being able to let the other person know what you really feel for them. What's the best possible outcome for Aquarius for this spread? outcome for Aquarius for this spread. See, someone from your past is coming back with a, with a high priestess. We have the Hierophant and the high priestess here. It's a very spiritual connection. See, that's what I kept saying. It's a very spiritual connection. But this person has not awakened to that as yet is what I'm getting, okay? See, with the, with the hermit here, this person's gone into, uh, they've gone into that soul searching, right? So probably this person is someone, you know, who's gone in within themselves and trying to find out what this connection really means to them. Wondering if they're in the right relationship, in the right connection, what they need to do. They're doing a lot of thinking here, okay? They're wanting to spend more time on their own, okay? Being very practical and logical about this, okay? What you don't see, uh, uh, no, the, the best possible outcome, the high pieces in reverse. I feel there's someone who's going to be ready to talk. This is going to be someone from your past. This is an ex. This is someone who you treat as a soulmate, okay? But somewhere, somehow here, I still feel with the two of wands in reverse here, there is going to be a lack of decision. Someone's still ignoring to make a decision. I feel this person wants to come towards you, okay? Because there's been a, an epiphany is what I'm getting. The high priestess in reverse is also uh, someone who's had a realization, right? Someone who's ready to talk. Someone who's... Uh, finally ready to open up, right? This person is your someone who's coming from the past, right? But this person is still choosing to ignore making a decision, see? They want to come in towards you, but they're still not sure because you're dealing with someone very, very immature, okay? Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. That's why things didn't work out in the past because we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse here. You're so mature and you're looking to work with someone who's very immature or who's just not at the same energetic level that you are. Obviously, you're going to part heads, right? And that's, that, that is what created a lot of disappointment here. 
Okay, if this person wants to come towards you, they're still not making that brave move to come towards you or making a choice where they know they need to come towards you and they need to make a change. Okay, this person fears change. This is someone who likes to be in that comfort zone. That's why I'm getting the hermit here. You know, someone who is like, I don't want to deal with the situation anymore. You know, someone who's ignoring communication, okay? There's a disconnect here. That's why. Okay, this person choose to be in that corner, into that cocoon rather than come towards you and communicate with you. Oh, that this do do feel that there is going to be communication for the page of pentacles here but maybe it's going to, just going to be a little, very bland so it's not like a breakthrough in communication you know like wow i finally get clarity okay like what are we doing next etc because this person is still staying in their safe house okay still staying in their comfort zone but yeah there is going to be a revelation there is someone here who's realized that they want to open up about their feelings they're no longer wanting to be closed off but definitely with the six of cups here, someone wants to come back. This person wants to return to you. They want a reconciliation with you. Okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.